and welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Braum Swain to kick the day off here on Meme Tier Monday. Now this one isn't necessarily a Meme Tier deck, but you know, we're, we're uh, playing today, we're playing all donation decks today also. This one, um, basically the reason why I'm kind of putting this one in, in the Meme Tier deck is because of Braum. Braum is uh, probably the second weakest champion in the game to Anivia. Anivia and Braum are are the two weakest. Like that's probably one one A one B, if you ask me. And so we're gonna be we're gonna be trying to uh, play some Braum here though, with some uh, just pretty good Freljord and Noxus cards together. We want to be doing a lot of non combat damage for Swain. Um, and so looking at what we got here, we have some Ravenous Flocks to be able to do four to a unit if it's damaged or stunned. So we need to, uh, we don't have any stun in our deck, but we do have some ways to damage our opponent's uh, units. And the most li the most um, likely one is Ember Maiden. And it looks like just Ember Maiden is gonna be a really important card for us to have uh, to help turn on a lot of other things in our deck. Um, you know, the Ember Maiden doing one damage to everything kind of helps helps everything, helps our Scar Scarthane Stefan, Helps our Crimson Disciple. Um, it's, it's good with Braum. It's a lot of damage for uh, Swain to level up, and also um, it's you know it really turns on our Auroch Glinthorn at the top end, stunning all uh, damaged enemies. And um, and then of course, like I said, like the Ravenous Flock, the Noxian Guillotine, all that kind of stuff. So Ember Maiden is kind of the the card that our deck is is really built around, and that's going to be. An important card for us to find. It also turns on Plunder for our Shared Spoils. And we're going to hopefully have Omen Hawk or Shared Spoils um, pump up a Braum for us. So it's not just an 05. That would be ideal. But then, of course, if, if Braum does take damage, like our Ember Maiden or Transfusion or anything like that, then we have our Take Hearts to make Braum a little stronger. So that's our uh, that's our deck for today. Hey, what's up, Turkey? This is your deck. Here you go. Um... <clears throat> so let's go play let's go play some games um let's go play games in normal today i'll just kind of do that across the board today we could go ranked with this one and we could go ranked with the next deck too but the unyielding left we're probably gonna want to play in normal and same with the orox pledge you all right so the difference between ranked and normal is honestly not that much to be honest like as far as like what decks you play against like sometimes you'll play against uh, some weaker decks in normal, but not not necessarily. Even in in master rank, you'd think that like master rank you're always playing against the best of the best. But there's a lot of people that get to master rank and then they don't care. Then they don't care like what number their actual rank is because there's no there's not much incentive there. And so they start playing kind of crazy off the wall decks in master ranks. So you you do face that as well. Um. This hand looks perfectly fine. I kind of like it. Yeah, I kinda like this hand. So what two drop do we want to start with? Disciple or Raider? So Raider hits harder. Um... So we'll go with the Raider. We're playing against Spooky Karma. Ooh. Solitary Monk, good. Pledge to Sejuani's service. Dread Lightning, strike hard. I want to just do this transfusion right now and just give this plus three plus zero. Otherwise, they could just take five, and then I'm just kind of sitting here not doing a whole lot. Just an 
because this makes this attack for 10. You know, like, that's just such a big difference, attacking for 10 or attacking for 5. Fate wills. This thing gonna be big. Gets another plus three. Gets another plus three. <laughs> oh, it's an 11 too. If only we had a way to give this like overwhelm or something. I, I don't think we're ever gonna hit with this thing again. It's probably gonna die. Okay. So Miss Call brings back the Solitary Monk, which bounces the spider lane. Yeah, that's definitely true. Braum, the that's definitely a good part about Braum is Braum's champion spell is really good. The champion spell being a take heart. That's one of the, the biggest strengths to Braum. But yeah, that's that's the thing. Like we really want that uh, Ember Maiden because we have we have some cards that don't do anything kind of without it. Born a patrician, I became a soldier. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You don't see that. You don't see that every day, right? Spiderlings being summoned from hand. You don't see that every day. Ugh. All these cards that don't do anything. Well, we can just tack on in there, and that looks just fine. Now their Thresh is damaged, so that's good. I'm gonna use Ravenous Flock so I can cast Swain as well. Hey, Srammy. Is... Heimerdinger, Lee Sin, deck possible. Yeah. You don't see why not. Yeah, I think you go with the Heimerdinger, Lee Sin deck. Return to us. Do you think they're doing no attacks? Yeah, they're gonna go no attacks. Let me show you what I can do. Fire knows its own. So I couldn't play my Ember Maiden because they could challenge it. And I need it to I need my Ember Maiden to stay alive. We could cast four Noxion Guillotines this turn. Don't think we're going to need four of them, but we could cast four of them. Commander Ledros. That's not cool. Want to respond here so it doesn't take up our priority. We just did that while it's on the stack, so we still have uh, priority. And then uh, let's play. Hmm. What are we gonna do about this, Commander Ledros? Because we're gonna guillotine this thing. Um, I guess we're gonna block, but I can't. I can't stop their Ledros from blocking my Swain. I don't think. Oh wait, yeah, yes. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Never mind. We're good. We're good. Okay, so we're going to we're going to heal this thing. Keep that alive. 
and then I can block with my kindly tavern keeper. I'm not that worried about my life total against Spooky Karma. Because now this gets stunned, because right, the, the Ember Maiden does damage to their Nexus. So we stun that thing. Okay, so we're going to definitely do this. And then that puts them down to zero, so I don't even have to cast the Take Heart. We can just kind of wait. They have to do something next. All right. Brom Swain. Whoops. Sorry about that. My camera is on top of my mic or my uh, mouse cord, so my mouse cord isn't like everywhere. It's it's uh um or well basically it's like my mouse cord would be like pulled towards like the back of the computer and so to like just give it like that extra slack i have part of the cord underneath the camera and so i, I my mouse kind of got stuck there and i pulled it and that's why the camera got pulled sejuani vladimir all right well i love omen hawk into ruthless raider i like that and the shared spoils is cool take art's kind of cool Let's go. <laughs> Brahms, did they explain the theory behind the deck? Not really. Tur uh, this is Turkey's deck. Turkey's in here in chat. Um, <laughs> so Grace Calls asking why why the theory. Beside, like, why Swain instead of a lad? I mean, Swain's really, Swain's really powerful when you, you know, level it up and everything like that. Like, like we just saw that last game. Swain can do some cool stuff. <laughs> this owl is my favorite. Just, just taking this carrot. Flying off, nobody nobody notices. She doesn't notice. He doesn't notice. This guy doesn't notice. She just comes on in here and it's like carrot. The winter's claw strikes. <laughs> Bird spotted. And the minion's like, I want a carrot. I want a carrot. Ooh, 3 4 Crimson Disciple is pretty cool. Not going to be able to play Shared Spoils this turn, which is what I wanted to do. This land is ours. No! <laughs> uh, let's attack. We'll have Elixir of Iron. You know, like even if they, if they block here, we Elixir of Iron the Crimson Disciple. And then, so then it's damaged, so we can take heart it. And then we can also heal it with the Tavern Keeper. Just good at deck building. Yeah, Ember Maiden is so good. We're definitely... Look what you... <laughs> definitely an Ember Maiden deck. It's the most important card in our deck, probably. These decks are pretty fun to play, though. You know, like these Noxus, Freljord decks. Like... Sure, they're not the absolute best, but they're it's good, enjoyable uh, gameplay. You know, playing with it or against it. Um, I think I pass the turn. I don't know. They could just pass back, and then I waste a mana. Okay. They did not just pass back. Let's... 
Walk here, here. Take heart this. Oh, Evan Wave. Oh, this is... Oh, you built this deck? This isn't Turkey's deck? Okay. So it says, I, f I just find that the Swain level up is pretty easy, and I don't own Vlad, to be honest. Which is perfectly fine. And yeah, the, the Swain level up is pretty easy. Hmm. So we're definitely going to be healing the Crimson Disciple with the Tavern Keeper. But it may be better just to go with the Ember Maiden first. I'll try anyone because then next turn, you know, the Ember Maiden will turn on Shared Spoils. And we do have double Crimson Disciple for the Ember Maiden, which is pretty sweet. Yeah, it's like, you think Sejuani and Swain go together, like, they they have the Vladimir, I have the Swain. It's like, we're we're supposed to switch, right? Like, we're supposed to be Braum, Vladimir, and they're supposed to be uh, Sejuani, Swain. Let the flames take you. So they're at 13 right now, just the beginning of turn. <laughs> This trigger with these go from 13 down to 8. <laughs> That's pretty good. I found my family, my blaskin. <laughs> All right, healing up this Crimson Disciple. First, I want to share its spoils. Just see what we get. Ooh, Glinthorn. Yes. Alright, at least the Ruthless Raider is damaged now. Um... We're gonna keep you around, Ember Maiden. I have the bag. I need the reputation. So they get to create two crimson units in hand. Know your enemy. Know your enemy. Rom Swain for the mean deck. Yeah, I mean, basically, you know, it's not, it's not the memeiest of decks, but you know, Brahm is kind of a weak champion. All right, so I can attack. Ugh, this is a hard decision. So they pass to me. I could attack, and they can't block with anything, and I probably win. I can't really imagine what they would have for seven mana to keep me from winning. I could also just pass the turn and Ember Maiden kills them. So like if I if I hit end round, I win the game hundred percent. But I haven't ever done like a cool Glinthorn attack, so we're gonna do this cool Glinthorn attack. Like look at that, that's sweet. So yeah, pass the turn was was a hundred percent win if I would have just clicked that button. A cool Glinthorn attack, also. Sanctuary tank! Getting that resub 15 awesome months. Getting that hype in. Thank you so much, Sanctuary tank. Alright, so we're 2 and 0. We are just playing a normal. 
with our Braum Swain deck, but we are 2-0. So that's also good. Just kind of be go going with uh, some normal today, except for the Slight of Fortune deck. Maybe I think I'll play that one in, in Master Rank. Then the other ones are Unyielding Fluff and stuff like that. Kind of feel like playing some normal today. All right, let's see. Ionia Noxus. That deck's usually really good. I'm going to get rid of the Stefan and keep this start. Uh, so this is probably the Elusive Burn deck. Your Noxus Elusive deck. Yeah. This deck's good. Yeah, I used to play Magic before switching over to Runeterra. But for the last... The last uh, good amount of months I've just been playing Runeterra. Hmm. I guess I'm just passing. Down from the trees. Let's get a good look at you. I'll kind of wait on this transfusion until Stefan. I don't have like a good transfusion anyway. If I wanted to pump up my Crimson Disciple to kill theirs, it, I would just kill my blocker that was killing their 2-1. But now with the Stefan in play, you know, we can transfusion do one to the Stefan, pump up Crimson Disciple, and you know, then grant Stefan plus three plus zero. So no, yeah, I know. I know we almost always do ranked here. Basically, always do ranked, but felt like some normal today. You know, switching it up. All right, so I just make these attacks. They don't block. They they take four. If I so like they're just not gonna block, and they'll just take four. I think it's just like a lot better to attack for nine than attacking for four. Whenever we're gonna be in a race. Their deck's really fast. You call that sneaky. So, force them to do that. And still hit them for four. I walk my path alone. Yuck. <laughs> I tried playing Magic yesterday after playing Runeterra all week. It felt like actual work in comparison. Yeah, I just, yeah, Runeterra is awesome. Yeah, there are just a lot of little things in this game. I agree. So we got Triple Elixir of Iron. Not the best, because their, their deck's not really that interested in... Um, and doing damage to our stuff, so not the best there. Um, oh, I can't wait. And none of their things are damaged. Those glint horns not really doing a lot for us either. Ooh, okay, okay. We'll play Swain over the glint horn, so they because they kind of have to block the Swain with Solitary Monk. Ouch, what a card. That's a great card. Gets a block and do the damage to me. Like that that's probably just game right there, just having that card. Looking for Yeah, I mean this game's over. Elixir of Iron, not really the best card in this matchup. Did I? I might have kept one Elixir of Iron in my opener, maybe. Or if not, we just drew all of them. This is not the end. 
Yeah, I didn't have to attack with the Omen Hawk, I suppose, but like... Um... I mean, I still had like, what, the 2-3 Crimson Disciple? They could they could block the 2-3 Crimson Disciple also. I kind of just had to attack. I mean, I can't, I can't just sit back and... Like, if I don't attack, it's not like I'm winning. I'm not winning by not attacking. <laughs> right? Okay, so I did have one in the opening hand, and I didn't mulligan it. Okay, so lesson learned in that in that matchup with the Elusives, just mulligan the Elixir of Iron next time. That's not a card that you normally mulligan, but I think that matchup, how they don't interact with your stuff too too much, I think that's that's one where I got to mulligan that. Okay. Don't really know how I'm gonna trigger the shared spoils. I'll keep the Braum and the Stefan. Okay, not bad. Getting Ember Maiden to go along with Braum and Take Heart. Ooh, and another Take Heart. This could be a good Braum. Yeah, they had they had a good hand like that. That uh, that re retreat return was absolutely perfect for them. Being able to chump block the five power and their thing not die, and put in the the four three for one mana. One mana put a four three elusive in play. That was really rough. Get him, Brom. Let's go. 3-9 Braum. Or 3-8, I guess. 3-8 Braum. Let's go, Braum. Yeah. Um, yeah, we've played some Shen decks. You want to play Shen? Uh, Shen with Fiora is the most common way to play Shen. Um... That's, that's like the most common way. And so I basically played two Shen decks recently. So here's uh, Mr. Sid, what's up? New to Twitch? Thanks for joining. All right, so there's F there's Shen Fiora, which is a real common way to play Shen. It's, it's, a, it's a good way because Shen pairs really well with challenging, uh, with challengers. And then, yeah, then the other day we did play a Katarina Shen deck. That one was, was really impressive. I was, it was definitely better than I thought, and that was a pretty fun one. So if you want to check out Katarina Shen, uh, that's that one. You are safe with so I could turn you into a 5-3? No, I think, hmm, well, I guess being a 2-4 is not as valuable, is it? We like a challenge. Maybe a 5-3? No, let's let's just try to keep leveling up Braum. So next turn we're looking at 5 mana. This would be a 6th. Um, I'll still go Omen Hawk. Basically, I've seen if, if I wanted to have Ember Maiden plus uh, like Take Heart. If we could have Ember Maiden plus Take Heart. Okay, well, I have Ember Maiden plus Transfusion. That's nice. Uh, let's challenge this thing. Yeah, I feel like they could have attacked with all. The last turn, like, attacking with these Mistrates and stuff. Like, I think that was a good attack. Cause I don't know if they realized that my 2-4 couldn't block their Mistrates. Bye-bye, Omen Hawk. You did a great job. I guess I could have just attacked with Omen Hawk, huh? Yeah, I guess I should have just attacked with Omen Hawk. That was... Yeah, I should have attacked with Omen Hawk. All right, so we still have our top two units in our deck getting the plus one, plus one from the Omen Hawk. 
I'm doing good, Storm. How you doing? Oh, I... One, I'm really sorry to hear the news about... Uh, about your sister's puppy, right? Oh no, your girlfriend. Uh, yeah, your girlfriend had to put put her dog to sleep this morning. That that is awful, and I'm really sorry. It's terrible news. Yeah, very. Yeah, very sorry to hear about that. That is just the the, the absolute worst things, um, having a, you know, a pet pass away. The absolute worst things. Let's you are safe with block those two, and I think I just take six. Maybe. Yeah, I'll just take six. Yeah, I could go take heart on the Ember Maiden. I basically, I don't want to do that though because I kind of, I wanted to have like protection for these, like if they do something. I don't know if they'll have like Black Spear, Callista's Black Spear to kill like my Braum. I really don't want that to happen. So I'm just gonna pass. I'm not gonna like play anything else. I'm gonna just in case. So I really don't want that that thing to die. Okay, so nothing died. So that's good news. Now we're gonna challenge Thresh. Leveled up, Brom. Her name was Sophie. Sophie, that's a great name. Yeah, I'm sure she had a, a wonderful life. My fire. Come on in. Good times, good friends. What could be better? And we get a Poro because we have a leveled up Braum. So that's pretty awesome. Swain's got to be leveled up, right? <laughs> 21 out of 12. It's an improper fraction. Um, hmm. Maybe I just play the Swain over the Ember Maiden. Uh, left for a snack? I'll just pass. Everyone's a garden. Challenge the Braum. Mm. Did not challenge Braum. So Thresh is at three out of six for leveling up. This would be four and five. gonna let Thresh level up. 
You know, I, I could save both of my things and Thresh does not level up. I guess Kliss is going to level up too. Gives me room to play Swain. You're stuck between Platinum 1 and 2 and need a good deck against this heavy meta of They Who Endure. Um, honestly, the Fiora alone deck we played yesterday is really good there, but um, Purify, I kind of like going like Frostbite and Purify, that kind of stuff, is very good against They Who Endure. Like that's that's just some different options. Like Challenger with Fiora, Fiora is awesome against it, um, and see, especially Fiora with Purify or Fiora with Frostbite. All right, so we're gonna attack with you first, then you, then you, then you, then you, then you, then, then you, and you challenge you. Give them a chance. You will never find peace. Okay, got the win. And got another Poro. Victory is friends we made along the way. So Brom Swain, three and one. So I guess if you if you want like a specific list, maybe the Fiora Vi deck that we actually played the other day. And I think we played this against They Who Endure a couple of times. Um, could go, because that that's just like a Fiora deck with some more spells. Really focus on the challenge aspect. Aspect could play a could take out like one of the Rising Spell Force or something for a Purify. Because um, yeah, Purify against They Who Endure is real good and purify is just a pretty decent card right now anyway all right karma lux we're going to get rid of um everything i want any of these cards nope okay the pump spells aren't necessarily that bad but we need we need threats against karma lux karma lux doesn't really do a lot of damage to our things we don't really need like elixir of iron uh, but you know, transfusion could be a good combat trick. But again, we just need we need threats out here. So that's why Mulligan them all. Let's attack. Went to attack first because, ooh, they did block. I was going to say, I don't think they're probably going to block. Because you take two either way. They did block. So that means, since they did block, we don't really need to play Ember Maiden uh, right now. Because otherwise I'd play Ember Maiden to kill the 1-1. One, one, but let's just go, let's go Omen Hawk plus Shared Spoils. Plus Omen Hawk. We have our our Jagged Butcher. We have the upgraded Jagged Butcher that also pumps up two things in our deck. Yes, that is a great Braum, a 3-8 Braum. I wish our opponent wasn't playing Ionia and specifically Will of Ionia. Because that's a great Braum. Magic has no place here. 
How can Rom help? They cannot hide. You you've made a a crazy Lux Vi deck today in your 7-2 and masters. Lux Vi. You cannot escape. Okay. Ugh, no. They do have Will of Ionia. I'm gonna play this because I'm gonna try to have the Ember Maiden and the other Ember Maiden. You know, like maybe next turn, like this Ember Maiden survives, we get to play the other one. Kill both of those. Ravenous Flock could be good. Both their champions cost six mana, so they may just be playing a champion, which maybe gives us the opportunity to play the other Ember Maiden. Um. Mages are everywhere. Don't you worry about me. It does kind of seem like they have single combat, but I hope not. I can't really stop single combat. Alright, well we might as well block these things. These were going to just all die anyway. Did have single combat. Yeah, I, I guess that's true, right? The three one blocking Lux would be better because then the other one would die at the beginning of turn anyway. And so would save an additional life. Um, if we would have blocked the 3 1 with Lux, we would have been able to Raven. And they would have done the same single combat. We would have been able to Ravenous Flocks the Lux. But it wouldn't have, wouldn't have mattered. No, we wouldn't have. Yeah, yeah, we could have Ravenous Flocked and killed Lux, and they would have kept the other thing alive. We're in a lot of trouble here. I, I will be surprised if we win this. Uh, with this place <laughs> commons against this is fun, yes? against Lux. I trust my instincts. Uh, maybe I should be challenging the other way, shouldn't I? Eh, I just had barrier anyway. Single combat really messed us up. Good times, good friends. What could be better? Mama Man just redeemed a donation deck. Awesome. Is that your your Lux Vi deck there? Perfect. Alright, I'll probably play that tomorrow. So, th that's a pretty silly Purify, but the reason to do that is because you get to level up Lux and you get a Final Spark also. So, it makes a lot of sense to do that. These 
soft foul magic. We have all these cards that care about damaging them. We don't have any way to damage them. That Ember Maiden getting getting single combat, that was the that was a huge turning point in this game. They are weak. I can feel it. Let their flaws inform your strategies. Orak has a pretty sweet voice though. We're not winning this by sitting back. <laughs> we don't we don't beat Karma and Lux by sitting back. Never back down from what you believe. So might as well attack in. Uh tomorrow okay, no, tomorrow I'm gonna be on later. How, okay, so you, you're starting your stream in hour 15. Um, tomorrow I'll be starting in about four hours if you if you round down, uh, and then four hours from now. And so I could do your deck last. Or I could also wait till Wednesday and I could do it early on. Yeah, you know, I could do it right away on Wednesday. Okay. Wednesday's the best? Okay. Alright, I'll play yours on Wednesday then. We'll send a follow over there. All right, cool. Um, so I'm expecting barriers to happen. Right, I'm expecting barriers to happen. If, if this just happens and damage happens, I'll be happy, but Gonna try to kill Karma. Okay. Karma too good. Alright, so 3 2 over in normal with Braum Swain. You know, pretty fun little deck here. Um, I do wish that we had, I think. Like, I think the deck could use more ways to do damage to the opponent's stuff besides Ember Maiden. Um, Ember Maiden was certainly a really important card for us, but just other ways to do damage. Because playing Noxian Guillotine, Ravenous Flock, stuff like that, like, I'd rather... Basically, I think I'd rather have um, removal spells that are more reliable, I guess. I guess that's the thing. Like, I, I don't like Ravenous Flock in this deck, for example, because I just I just don't think it's, it's reliable enough. Um... The guillotine is probably fine. I think it's okay to have one guillotine to go with the Ember Maiden because of how powerful this is of being able to take down a whole bunch of things. But I'm not a big fan of uh, Ravenous Flock. 
Um, and then, yeah, yes, I, I do like Leviathan a lot. Um, I think this could be a good Leviathan deck. And I would I would have a Leviathan over Orok Glinthorn. Um, definitely. I, th I think I think Leviathan's a much more powerful card than the Glinthorn. Uh, we did get to do the one cool attack where we got to stun all their things while we attack, but I think for the most part, Orok Glinthorn's just not going to be... like We don't have enough things to do damage to their enemy. So yeah, I definitely like Leviathan over that. Um, and as far as instead of Ravenous Flock... Um, I would kind of be looking at the the three mana cards. There's a lot of good three mana cards, and you can kind of split them up <clears throat> in here. Like Noxion Fervor, for example, really good with Brom. Really, really good with Brom, and uh, also just good against like removal if they try to kill like one of your things. You can use an Auction Fervor. Um, Death's Hand, awesome. You know, gets you three damage towards um, the Swain. Also, it does one to the enemy Nexus, which is important for your shared spoils. So I think getting a Death Hand in here is good. And then maybe a Culling Strike um, to take out uh, some things like uh, Heimerdinger and um, Maokai. And then just a bunch of other, like, you know, little guys that you can take out with Culling Strike um, as well. Uh, Might also, yeah, Might is also really good in this deck, especially how you can pump up things. Especially how we were playing uh, Star uh, Scarthane Stefan. This card with Might, very, very powerful. A leveled up Swain with Might is very powerful. You don't, like, Might, um, and then, yeah, you know, like, whenever you whenever you take heart things, you know, have, a, have things with take heart, be able to Might that. And even just Might with uh, Braum. You know, like, you challenge something and you use Might with Braum. That's also just, just good. So, yeah, I like Might quite a bit. Um... As far as where to fit a might, it's something I don't think you want like three mites, but I think having the fir access to the first might because might can be a big blowout and it could just be like where your hand gets stuck with with mites in hand and you know once you start having like mites and transfusions you may have like too many pump spells after a while, but I think the first might is really good in this kind of deck. Um, Avalanche, Avalanche is interesting. I don't think it's worth it, but if you play, if you are playing against a lot of aggro decks, if you're like at a spot in the ladder where you do play against a lot of aggro, <clears throat> I could see playing a couple Avalanche in here. No, Transfusion is is really solid. I think I would take out, um, honestly, I think I would probably take out a ta Kindly Tavern Keeper. I'm not that big of a fan of this card, to be honest. It's just like not a. I don't, you know, it's just usually just kind of like a generic three-three body, which it's not, which is not that impactful. Um, you can heal an ally three, but like we have like take heart already. It, you know, like there's times like where like our Omen Hawk or our Shared Spoils is like turning this into a four-four, and I would just rather be turning better card, like you know, other cards into things. I would honestly just get rid of Tavern Keeper and play a Might and play the third Stefan. Stefan was pretty good. Especially if we get like a mite in here, I think I'd rather just have those than the Kindly Tavern Keeper. Okay, so yeah, you're you're using uh, Tavern Keeper because of burn. So yeah, if if you are playing against a lot of burn, then then Tavern Keeper is more valuable. Definitely. Yeah, it's definitely more valuable if you're playing against more burn. Or you could could take out a shared spoils also if you want to get the ta the tavern keeper back in here. And instead of like the a might could replace a shared spoils because we we don't we don't turn on shared spoils super easily. Where are you at, tavern keeper? There you are. Get back in here. So basically, we could just instead of going two tavern keeper, two Stefan, maybe make it three Stefan, one tavern keeper. Um, but then a might could fit in instead of a shared spoils. That's not yeah, like this isn't a card that you necessarily need three of. A good way to kind of think of it with like three ofs in your deck. A lot of times three ofs should be cards that you would want to play more. So you can think about like if you could play four, if they would allow you to play four, would you want to play four? 
And a lot of these cards, you know, like you're you're like, yeah, like that's that's you know, I want my Ember Maidens, my Braum, my Ruthless Raider, my Crimson Disciple, my Omen Hawk, Elixir of Iron's awesome. You know, it's like, yeah, shared spoils. Would you want four of these? No, probably not. I don't think we'd want four of them. And so then if you think of it like that, you're like, well, do we really want three of it then? Is it really a three of card? And you know, maybe not. And so that could turn into a might. Just felt wrong to have no card draw in here. I can see that. Uh, so yeah, putting Leviathan in here kind of helps a little bit with card draw, right? You get to get to have a couple Swains. You get to draw some Swain, but um, yeah, when Shared Spoils is turned on, it's definitely it's definitely a pretty good card. You know, like get a card draw and get the pump. Like it's a good card when it's turned on, but it's not not super easy to turn on. So yeah, there's there's a, a few small changes I kind of recommend. And yeah, hopefully, yeah, that's a good way to think of it. Hopefully that, that kind of helps you out. Just not necessarily in this deck, but just in, in decks in general. Think about that whenever you whenever you just like throw three ofs. You're like, all right, three of these, three of these, three of these. Um, think, would you want to play four? Would you want to play five? You know, like, would, would you want, like, is it a card that you want all the time? And if the answer is no, then it maybe shouldn't be a three of either. All right, but anyway, that's Braum Swain. Uh, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there um, and uh, leave those comments, of course, as well. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for the next video.